hi guys welcome to PHP tutorial series uh, from my last video I'm working on developing a login form like this using PHP okay, in my last video I added links to my page and I uh, used a class of container due to that I get a form or I get a container of 960 width okay guys this container class is given in uh, bootstrap.css file in this uh, uh, bootstrap.css file okay guys that's why our uh, container is uh, automatically fixed to 960 uh, pixel of width go ahead let us create our form okay let us give it method I'm using post method to send my data to server and action I'm posting the data to the same file that is index.php okay okay since this is in a login form uh, once uh, our credentials are right or once user enters the correct data it has to redirect to its welcome page, welcome page or some other page okay that's why we need to give some other page like home.php okay now let us create label label okay user name and text box type equals to text name equals to username okay now let us copy this and paste password okay now let us see our page okay you can see your username and password fields are created okay now let us create Uh, title okay title do class title okay now let us create a strong tag to write our title php login form yes okay you can see now let us give some padding to our form okay form go to our css file padding top and bottom as 10 pixel left and right also 10 pixel we need to see how it looks you see I think we should give some more margin. Let us twenty and thirty. Okay, this is this one is uh, top and bottom, and this one is left and right. So refresh. Okay, I think we should give some more height thirty. Okay, let us see. Okay, this much is enough. Okay, see guys, uh, this uh, whenever I, uh, I enter cursor into my text boxes it has uh, showing some uh, uh, bluish kind of borders to around this text boxes these effects are coming with, uh, uh, with the help of bootstrap.css file okay since we have used since we are using bootstrap uh, framework uh, bootstrap framework will come with uh, their uh, default css styles and js files because of those css files it's taking this effect okay now let us create buttons input type as submit name equals to register okay now and value yes login and value sign in 
then now let us copy this one and paste for our one more button which is clear okay now let us go and see sign in and clear buttons is displaying here but uh, it's not displaying like these two buttons because these uh, styles are coming with the help of bootstrap classes bootstrap default classes okay we need to use those classes to these buttons so that our buttons look like exactly similar to this okay uh, first uh, let me give some uh, margin to this php login form okay. uh, to give margin we need to use this class okay sorry guys margin bottom as 20 pixel let us see okay this much space is enough okay now we have give now we need to give styles to these buttons okay, okay guys let me show you bootstrap classes class btn in primary okay now let us copy this copy and okay, this much let us see okay let's refresh our page okay, you can see as soon as I uh, give some classes to our buttons its appearance gets changed okay, now let us put a br tag now you can see these buttons are displaying here exactly looking like this buttons okay uh, it has some different different classes so guys bootstrap uh, framework comes with different different classes and those classes will have uh, some kind of uh, some beautiful uh, css written uh, on the written in their CSS files. Okay, if I change it to danger, now you will see our button will get changed, button style will get changed. See, it's changed to red. Like this, Bootstrap comes with different classes based on these classes or depends on the class, your styles will get changed. Let me undo it and refresh. Okay. Okay, now we have created uh, our HTML for our login form. In my next video, I will uh, write PHP code so that I can uh, control my backend part or I can send a request to my server. And if there are uh, any credentials already present or uh, any registration or a user is already there in my backend, and then it will, uh, I will. Uh, write those uh, uh, usernames and passwords in my text boxes and retrieve and then logged in to my welcome page okay uh, i will see you in my next video guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching